Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have all new Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. These DIYs are going to be a little bit more high end and they definitely have a bit of a boho feel to them. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy these. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. I found this really awesome vase in the Dollar Tree in their floral department. I had never seen this one. This was a different shape and just kind of unique looking, but the color is not really my thing. So to start off with, I just want to give it a fresh coat of paint and I'm going to be using this matte white spray paint. So giving it a matte coat is definitely going to make it look a little more high end and a nice bright white color will make it pop. And this is how it turned out after two coats of that white spray paint. Anything I use in today's video, I will leave linked down below in the description box. So you can even just leave it just like this. I think this already looks so much more high end, but I wanted to add a fun accessory. So to do that, we're going to kind of make a bead necklace for this vase. And I'm going to be using these 20 millimeter wood beads right here. So these ones are not from Dollar Tree. They are from Amazon. Like I said before, I'll leave them linked down below. And I'm also going to be using some twine, which is from Dollar Tree. So I want to just cut a nice long piece of twine and I'm going to start off by putting 13 of these wood beads right into the center of the twine. If you're having any difficulties getting the beads on the twine, just put a little bit of painter's tape on the edge and that way they just go on a lot easier. Dollar Tree does actually offer some smaller wood beads in their crafter square, so be sure to check there first. So here is my strand and I have those 13 beads. I want to make sure that it fits around the neck of my vase. And now I'm actually going to take both of my strands and put them through one bead. So this is going to kind of just bind everything together. And this is an easy trick to really elevate any vase you have. And I'm actually just going to add one more of those beads. And then I'm going to tie my twine into a knot to make sure that everything stays in place. To finish off this beaded strand, I just want to make a really simple tassel. So to do that, just grab your twine. You want to hold it in place around your four fingers, wrap it around a bunch of times. Then you can just trim it, cut a small piece of twine, just push that right through that loop. And then you're going to make a knot or two on top. Then I'm just going to be cutting directly across from that knot and then folding it over to hide that knot in the head of the tassel. That way you cannot see it. Then I'm just going to grab some more twine while I'm holding my tassel in place and just start to wrap it around the tassel. That way I can just bind it. And once I had enough to bind it, I just cut it and now I'm going to tie it into a knot. The last step is just to pull the bottom of your tassel nice and tight and then just give it a trim to make sure everything is even. And now I'm just going to attach my tassel to my strand. You can even use this same technique just to make a wood bead garland just like this, but I think it adds such a fun boho feel to any vase. And here is a closer look on how it turned out. Next up is my favorite DIY from this video. So to start off with, I just have five of these wood pieces from the crafter square at the Dollar Tree and each one of these is 12 inches long. So I want to attach all five of these in a row just like this because I'm going to be making a tray. And I found that the best thing to attach them is wood glue. This is just Elmer's wood glue. You probably could use another permanent glue as well, but wood glue does work great for this. So to attach them, I'm just putting a long strip of wood glue on each piece, then just clamping them together and applying some pressure. If you have some wood glue that seeps out like I did here, just take a wet paper towel and just be sure to clean it off before it does dry. So now I'm just going to go ahead and continue to attach all of my pieces together. Here is my board. Actually, the next day I did let it dry overnight. That way it was nice and sturdy. So now it is definitely looking a lot more like a tray, but I did want to just paint it a little bit. I actually wanted to try something different today instead of just spray painting it. I wanted to kind of just give it a bit of a whitewash look since I did want it to feel a bit more natural and kind of keep that boho feel and I wanted to see the wood grain. So to get that look, I just added a little bit of acrylic paint to my cup here and then I watered it down and now I'm just taking a brush and brushing it over the surface and then before it dries, I'm taking a clean dry paper towel and just carefully rubbing off some of that excess paint. 
this is how my board turned out from that one coat you can definitely just wait for it to dry and do a second coat if you want it to be a little bit whiter but this is exactly the look I was going for now I just want to add some feet to my tray and I'm just going to be using more of those 20 millimeter wood beads and just hot gluing them to the bottom so for the handle I'm actually using something a little bit different this is a wood snake that I found at the Dollar Tree these can usually be found in their crafter square they've had these for a long time so hopefully they are easy to find and the only thing that kind of holds it together in the center is fabric so it can kind of just break off really easily I'm going to show you here how I took the tail off so you can kind of use scissors maybe even a small handsaw or you can just kind of bend it back and forth and it will break off pretty easily so that is the method that I opted for today so after I took the head and the tail off I just kind of measured it where the center was since I wanted two handles you can even count each segment that way you know that you're breaking it exactly in the center so they're going to be the same size and once I knew where I wanted to kind of just cut it in half I just bent it back and forth a little bit until it broke free to attach these today, I am just going to be using my hot glue. So you probably could use the wood glue for this, but they're a little bit wiggly, so I figured the hot glue would just be a nice, easy fix. And since I am using hot glue, I would say that these handles are kind of just more for a decorative feel. I really wouldn't use them as handles. I don't know if I would trust kind of transferring my tray over if I was holding items on it with just those handles being glued on. So they're definitely more just for a decorative look and to transfer my tray, I will just hold it by the body. And here is a closer look at the finished result. I think this one looks so cute with a little plant on it or even a candle. For this next DIY, I'm going to be using three of these animal planters from the Dollar Tree. So I actually found these in their floral section and they had a ton of different ones to choose from. A lot of cute designs, so definitely pick out your favorite. I'm going to be showing you two different versions of this DIY. So the first thing you can do with these is turn them into a planter, just like the picture, or you can even turn these into small candles. So that's what I'm gonna do with my zebra and my cat. And then for the owl, I am going to turn it into a planter, but kind of give it a little bit of a makeover. Since the owl is the only one that I'm going to be painting, I'm gonna get started on that first. So I'm gonna be using that same white spray paint, the matte ultra cover. And I'm just gonna be giving this two coats of that spray paint just to kind of give it a nice neutral look and really elevate it. And while my owl is drying, I'm going to get started on my candles. So these white candles you can find at Dollar Tree, they have these ones year round. And I wasn't sure how many I was going to need for this DIY, but it turns out that one of these is perfect to fill up two of these small planters. The only thing is, is that you will need two wicks if you want to fill up two of the planters and you can recycle the wick that is inside of here, but that will only give you one wick. So you might have to melt down two if you really need two wicks or you can just use some additional wicks. I have these from Amazon. I'll leave these linked down below. They come in a pack of 100 and I just found it super easy to just order these because I do kind of do quite a few candle making DIYs. So these definitely come in handy. And to attach them to my planters, I'm just gonna be using some hot glue. Many of the wicks that you can order from Amazon actually come with little stickies, which make this process even easier. So to melt down my wax, I'm just gonna be putting it in a big pot of water and letting it melt slowly over low heat. We wanna have the least amount of bubbles as possible and we wanna make sure that it really doesn't come to a boil. So I'm just taking my time with it. Here it was about halfway melted and I decided to just use a popsicle stick just to kind of help the rest of that wax push down to the bottom, but be extra careful while doing this. And the glass might be a little hot, so you could use an oven mitt to just make sure you keep your hands nice and safe. So I poured half of the wax into each one and then I just used some popsicle sticks to make sure the wick stayed up while it was drying. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that extra wick. 
How cute are these little customized candles? I think they would make the perfect gift for somebody. And now my owl is all dry, so to turn him into a planter, I'm gonna take the super easy route today and actually just add a faux succulent. So Dollar Tree has a bunch of these to choose from. They're really, really nice quality for $1.25. Some of them have the stem, other ones just have the clip. So you can just glue this in place or just lay it on top and that's what I did here. And here's a closer look on how everything turned out. For our last DIY, we're going to be transforming this glass cutting board from the Dollar Tree. So I found this one in the kitchen department at Dollar Tree, and I had never seen this one before. This was a new find for me. And I also picked up some of the contact paper from Dollar Tree. So this one was pretty close to the kitchen department. They had a bunch to choose from. They even had some faux wood. They had the faux marble look, some really nice prints. I was kind of torn between these two for this DIY, but I did decide to go with the faux marble since we were kind of going for a bit of a high-end look in this video. So all I'm going to do is just place my cutting board on top of my contact paper and just cut a square that is slightly larger than the glass cutting board. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start to take off that backing and reveal the sticky portion. It's easy if you just kind of remove a third of it and then place it on your object and then slowly pull the rest off. It just makes it a little bit easier. But this contact paper was surprisingly easy to work with, so that was definitely a plus. And now to get a really clean edge, I'm just going to go ahead and cut those corners and kind of fold over the top and the bottom. And then for the other two sides, I did go ahead and just kind of trim off that extra triangle just to try and make it super neat. And I figured we could just add some more of these wood beads just to add a little feet to this tray. This DIY only takes a couple of minutes, but you really can customize it with all of the different contact papers and it makes for a really nice trinket tray or even a little stand for a small plant or candle. And those are all the DIYs that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed these. I have some more high-end videos on the way soon, but I also have some more seasonal stuff coming up and some holiday related videos, so definitely stay tuned for those. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here and be sure to check out this video for some more crafting fun.